Well, now we're doing question 13 in section 5.2. And we're given the, the uh, terms 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth plus 1 over 16. And we have to write that in terms of summation notation. And so what we get is, uh, I'm going to make the conjecture that this is, corresponds to uh, the summation of k equals 1 to, uh, I've got four terms, so why don't I put a 4 there, and I'll go 1 over 2 to the kth power, and that equals, uh, when k is 1, we get 1 half, plus when k is 2, we get 1 fourth, when k is 3, we get 1 eighth, and when k is 4, we get 1 over 16, and it looks like we've done it. There's our summation. Okay, now we're doing question 41, and we've got to find the area under this curve on the interval 0, 3. We're going to come up with the Riemann sum using the right end point. And uh, delta x is 3 over n. C sub k, we're using the right end point, will be 3 times k all over n. And we're going to have to square this. So C sub k squared is 9 k squared over n squared. So now we've got, let's install our pieces. And there's n goes to infinity. And we'll put our delta x, which is 3 over n. And now our summation as k equals 1 to infinity. <coughs> and that's going to be, now in place of x, we're going to put c sub k. And we're going to square it. So we've already got that squared out. And we'll have 9 k squared over n squared plus n1. We'll put parentheses around all of that. Okay, that equals the limit as n goes to infinity of 3, sub, 3 over n. And we'll break this up into two limits. And summation, or two uh, summations k equals 1 to uh, n, not infinity. I beg your pardon, that should be an n there and an n here. And we'll have 9k squared over n squared plus 3 over n uh, times the summation of as k equals 1 to n of 1. And now we've got the limit as n goes to infinity. Now, out of this term, we can factor these uh, uh, factors that uh, all the non-k factors. So I'll get 3 times uh, 9 is 27. We can factor the n squared out. We get an n cubed here. And we just have the summation then as k equals 1 to n of k squared. For this one, we already know uh, uh, that when you evaluate the summation of 1 from k equals 1 to n, you just get an n. So that equals 3n times n. And uh, now these ends are just going to divide out. Now we have an identity for, by the way, I've got 27 over n cubed. We have an identity for the summation of k, uh, uh, k equals 1 to n of k squared. And uh, 
That identity can be found on page 309, and it is n times 2n plus 1 times n plus 1 all over 6. And we still have this uh, plus 3 out here, so now <clears throat> that equals the limit as n goes to infinity of, and 3 goes into 6 twice and then 27 9 times. So we've taken care of that. And also, when we multiply this thing out, we've got uh, a 9 over n cubed, and that's going to be times 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n plus, and there's our friend Mr. 3 there, and now we'll, uh, takes a little while to get through this, so we'll start up at the top, we'll save this and go upstairs. Okay, so this now equals uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of, and that's going to be, by the way, I had a 2 down here also because there was a 6 and uh, 3 went into 6 twice and into uh, 27 9 times. So what we now have is multiplying this 9 over n cubed times each term and dividing each term by 2, we have 9 over 2 n cubed times 2 n cubed plus 9 over 2 n cubed times 3 n squared plus 9 over 2 n cubed uh, times n, and still we, oh boy, we have our friend here plus 3. 3. Hmm. A little trouble with that. 3, and by the way, I have an n squared there. So now, as n goes to infinity, these divide out, the 2's divide out, and we simply get a 9. As n goes to infinity, the numerator, uh, n squared goes n, n cubed n times. This thing's going to go to 0. The denominator's blowing up. n goes into n cubed n squared times. Again, We've got a value in the denominator that's blowing up, so that's going to zero, and we have our friend Mr. 3 left. And so 9 plus 3 equals 12, and that is the area under the curve on that interval. R sub, and we use the right endpoint. And we're done. <laughs>